And here we go again, another short but exciting adventure in what sold this week on eBay. This is for the first week of August 2021, and we're going to start right off with this. It's a, they called it a, a sports bra tank top. Okay, by Champion. And uh, I didn't pay anything for it. I don't know what came from. I think it may have come from someone who gave my wife a bag of clothes. I'm, sh I'm thinking, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, it was here, I listed it. I listed it December 17th, 2019. And two years later, almost, while closing in on it, on August 1st, it sold for $8.99. How about that? Plus shipping, no freebies there. All right, next. Well, Lars somebody. Lars Fredrickson, and well, I'm not saying the word because they might they might get rid of they might they might do something in my video there. But 50 cents I paid for this at a local thrift store there. I I, I listed it July 1st, 2021 this year, and I sold it August 1st. So it took a month, but I got eight dollars and ninety cents plus shipping for that CD. I bought several I don't know probably a little stack of, of CDs that day and. Uh, most of them have sold. I have a few left, I, but uh, most of them have sold. So either on eBay or at the shop. So a lot of kind of like punk stuff and everything. So it was pretty cool. All right, next. Uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy. And let's see what I pay for these. I paid a dollar. paid a dollar for these. I listed them June 10th. They sold August 1st for $16.99. Free shipping. Free shipping on that one. Next. These are little hoses that you probably see them all over the place. Little hoses for over the ear can can canoe canola 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 canola. I'm not sure what they're. I think they're for uh, uh, like like breathing, like uh, the breathing. I can't think of the word. I don't know what it is. I do know what it is, but I can't think of the word. Um, anyway, there was. 11 packs of these things and they were all sealed. I paid five dollars and fifty cents for them and I listed them April 24th and they sold August 2nd for eighteen dollars and forty five cents plus shipping What do we got come on is that the next one or yep, that is the next one this is a, a Pizel maker and uh I actually was thinking about this thing. I, I just started doing doing keto stuff, and uh, I started I started doing keto July twenty seventh, and this is you know um, the first week here of August that this thing sold. But I actually was planning on pulling it off of eBay because I wanted to use it to make to make uh, my own pizels with with like cheese and 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 almond flour and stuff. Unfortunately. It sold right after I thought about it, so I didn't pay anything for it. Uh, I did put some work into cleaning it up, but I didn't pay nothing for it. I listed it July 14th. It sold August 2nd for $20 plus shipping. 20 bucks plus shipping. So, needless to say, I don't get to make my own Pizels until perhaps I find another one relatively cheap somewhere. But honestly, I'm not really looking at, at doing that kind of stuff anymore. I don't. I I, I don't eat very much anymore. Um, probably not as much as I should. I'm just not hungry, so it's hard. You, I, I've said before how I, how I forget to eat. So, and now it's not a matter of forgetting. I just am not hungry. So, uh, I just don't eat very often. Maybe once a day I might have a meal, you know, or maybe like a couple pieces of cheese or something. That's the other thing is cheese. I, I never bought, like, you know, the when you go in the store and there's that special section that has cheese and then there's the regular section that has cheese where you go and buy all your shredded cheese and all that stuff like that I went in the other section and I got some cheese like expensive stuff like five dollars for like eight ounces or whatever which is expensive to me and I cannot believe the difference in taste and texture and uh, it's amazing amazing I, I keep trying different ones every time I go in the store so I, I don't know why I'm telling you that but I am so uh, yeah so anyway that's that was that so all right next a weed eater blade I don't know if this was the last one but um, I am out of these finally after years let's see uh, weed eater blade a dollar I paid for it clearance at Walmart 
Uh, I listed September 10th, 2017. Originally, I guess I must have had 14 of them. but And it's taken this long for them to sell out. I don't know if this is the last one or not, but I believe it is. It sold August 3rd for 10 bucks. $10 plus shipping. Next. And this is sad. I don't have this in here, but I have to put it in here. Let's see. This was... All right, well, I'll tell you first. I paid 49 cents for this at the Goodwill. And... Yeah, there it is. And at the Goodwill, and I listed it July 13th. It sold August 3rd for $10.99 plus shipping. And unfortunately, it got to the city in Florida that it was supposed to deliver it to. And they freaking lost it. Somewhere it got there. They even opened a case for it. And then they closed the case. And then I opened a case for it a month a month later. After the buyer emailed me and told me they hadn't gotten it. And, and I opened a case. And they never did anything. Nobody ever called me. No, nothing. They just lost it. So, so that's that. So I ended up having to refund him. Which was sad. But that happens so i need to put i need to change my number here to okay that, that takes me down a little bit for the week um all right next it's sad pictionary i get this at the niche it was it, it wasn't it wasn't open i mean it was still sealed the old pictionary game uh, two dollars I paid for it. Listed it May twenty third. Sold August third for forty bucks plus shipping. So cool deal on the Pictionary. I knew they were good when I saw it. I mean, it was good and sealed and new. I knew they were pretty good. So, Man of War. This is another CD that I got at the same time as I got that other one I showed you earlier. Or Man Man of War Kings of Metal. I never listened to these guys. Uh, fifty cents I paid for this. Listened. Let's listened. I listed it. July 1st, it sold August 3rd for $7.70 plus shipping. Next. This dude is jacked. Look at that dude. Look at that. Is that a six pack or is that an eight pack? I don't know, but he's jacked. Next. All right. Planet of the Apes movie. Not the movie. The action figure from the movie. Atar? A Atar? I don't know. I did not watch any of the, the newer Planet of the Apes movies. I, I guess, uh, I don't know why I never did. I just never did watch them. So, uh, not yet anyway. Seventy-seven cents I paid for this guy. I bought him in a bag lot. I have a video for that bag lot. It was a long time ago, and uh, obviously it was back in December. This was this was listed December second, two thousand twenty. So, obviously that video is probably back around that time somewhere. I listed it. I mean, I sold it August fourth for five bucks. Five bucks, best offer accepted on that. Five bucks plus shipping, and uh, honestly, um, I, I've made so much money off that bag of action figures. I paid five bucks for I think for the whole bag of action figures, so uh, I've made a bunch of money on that. So I was perfectly willing to accept the five dollar best offer to make room for something new. All right, these are uh, these came out of a box that I bought at the niche for fifteen bucks, and uh, unfortunately. Even though uh, I paid a buck fifty for this lot of things out of that box, I made all my money back when I, I took the piece, I took the parts out, I listed it, and then I took the rest of the box over to the store and sold that for I think thirty, something like that. So that, that's cool. Um, anyway, a uh, buck fifty for this lot. I listed it June twenty third. It sold August fifth for twenty dollars. I took a best offer on it, and like a few days later, it got canceled. So hey, whatever, it's cool, it's fine. Um, I don't know why. I, I gave him a pretty good deal on it, so. Alright, next. I don't need these anymore. Alright, well. I don't think I needed them in the first place. Alright, this is another action figure. Hey, this guy came out of the same, that same bag I was telling you about earlier, I think. Yeah, 77 cents I paid for him. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And, let's see. I listed it December 3rd, 2020. It sold August 5th for 6 bucks, Six dollar plus shipping on that guy. So, hey. Pretty cool action figures. Alright, these came from the 250 pick. The 250 pick. Some of you might be aware of that one. Uh, 
three dollars and sixteen cents I paid for these guys and listed them May 2nd they sold August 6th for 30 bucks 30 dollars that thing just keeps on paying paying and paying and paying so I got a, an item that I got out of that that I got to ship today um that's something else I sold that I have to ship today I forget I didn't do very well over the weekend so uh which is my fault so next I haven't been listing because I've been doing other stuff so all my fault all right uh aluminum cookie cutters I have bags of those things over here behind me that I have to work on getting listed and I have some in the basement I've got to dig out and try to see if I can get them all get them all listed and get them up you know that season is coming so anyway let's see we got a uh, aluminum eight of them and I paid it says I paid nothing for them I, I probably just got them I don't know where I got them uh, July 12th I listed them they sold August 6th for $10.99 plus shipping Good deal it's just a lid out of a, a Stanley like a Stanley bullet thermos those big tall Stanley thermoses um, I picked a couple of those thermoses up at the Goodwill the one day they were uh, they were relatively cheap but they were kind of beat the 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 green part of the thermoses were and uh, I think they were I think they were $3.99 a piece and I, I got them for the sole purpose of, of parting them out. I didn't, I didn't. Thank you, Commonwealth Picker. I think that's who it was who talked about parting these things out. Uh, that's what I did. Um, I don't think I've ever done that before on these. I part a lot of stuff up, up, and I always have, but I never thought about doing these, I don't think. Anyway, $1.33 I paid for this part because I broke it up, you know, three or four ways. And I listed it, let's see, yeah. Uh, uh, July 23rd. It sold August 6th for $10.99 plus, plus shipping. Nope, free shipping. Yep, free shipping on that. So, not not making a lot on it, but um, it was fun. So, next. All right, uh, Testament. Another another test, a Testament CD. This also came from that same lot that I told you about before. Let's see. 50, or maybe, well, maybe it didn't. I paid 50 cents for this. What did I pay for? Yeah, I paid 50 cents for the other ones too. Yeah. So yeah, CDs are not a big thing that I um, typically list on eBay. Uh, I just don't usually find any. But this this was a lot of metal that I knew I could sell. When I bought it, I knew I could sell at the shop. So um, there was other punk stuff too, but that's not showing as some of the early things it sold. So anyway, July first I listed it. It sold August sixth for seven fifty. Free shipping again. Didn't make a lot on it. Okay, this came out of the 250 sale again. This is a, it was kind of a beat up box and everything like that. But the parts, I believe, were still all connected. They were still on the original uh, sprues, I think it's called. The, the plastic things are all connected to. I think it was still on the sprues. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, $3.16 I paid for this. I listed it May 5th. They sold August 6th for $13 plus shipping. Yep, so yeah and it's another best offer i'm ready to take best offers on that stuff and help it to go out but because a lot of it's sold but there's still some there's still some stuff but i need room for new stuff so okay yeah this is huge this is huge i bought this i got these books uh babylon 5 books these are this is a trilogy i paid 28 cents for this lot of books 28 cents i bought them in a bag lot at the niche I listed them March 28th. They sold August 7th for, yeah, they did. $129.99 plus shipping. Hot dog. No media mail on these, by the way. These these were ship priority. I want that insurance. So, so yeah, that was it. Pretty cool. That was a good sale. I needed that one, too, because I was not doing that well, as you've noticed. Um, next. And I've lamented. this. I've had this forever and ever. Uh... I do not know where I got this at all. Um, it's a wrapper? A wrapper women's dress shirt? I, I don't know anything about it. It looks like it'd be... I mean, it looks... I don't, I don't know. Is this, is this 80s or what? I don't know. I don't know what the fashion on this is. But um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that my... My... Uh, my male... What are they called? Mold or... or, or whatever that thing is that the the 
thing that I put it on there. I can't think what they're called. I'm pretty sure it does not do this, this shirt justice at all. But at the time I did not have a female one. Now I have something a little, a little different that I could, that I could, that I could do f female blouses on. Um, but I don't do that many, that much clothes. So anyway, yeah, enough of that. Nothing I paid for this I have here. Listed it March 24th, 2017. All right, so it sold August 7th for 10 bucks, 9.99 plus shipping. So uh, it took a long time, but they, they don't really take up much room. You know, they're in a tote. Most of my clothing is all in the same tote. I don't have much, maybe maybe two totes, but that's that's it for clothing. I'm not a, I just don't like it. Next. Principles for Prosperity. I get this at the Goodwill too. I was actually, I think I might have listened to it, but I bought it to resell, but it, I kept it for too long and I missed I missed the opportunity to sell it for more money but anyway I paid 2.99 for it at Goodwill listed it December 11th 2020 it sold August 7th and I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on that so um yeah it was cool I'm glad, I'm glad it sold so I made a little bit of money on it anyway all together oh I got to fix something here let's see that one no it's this one. I gotta change this to minus 1.99. All right. So all together, um, everything that everything that I sold that actually actually stayed sold cost me twenty three dollars and forty six cents. Um, and then let's see. Uh, I made three hundred ninety-five dollars and forty-six cents minus thirty-one ninety-nine for uh, the refunds and cancellation. So uh, my my net my net sales then is three hundred and sixty-two dollars and forty-seven cents. Again, my numbers do not include fees or any of that sort of thing uh, from eBay. So um, or or shipping like some of the stuff was free shipping, some of it was paid. Uh, so my number does not include the cost for that. So um it's just for me these numbers so all right that's it that's it for for this first week of august thank you very much for watching have a great day and keep listening because you know it, it it's it's fourth quarter here and you know christmas is coming and people are going to be buying so uh let's get her done all righty bye-bye